Bordeaux would lift their sixth Ligue 1 title in 2009 on the last match day of the season, sending the city into a huge parade while ending Lyon's streak of dominance where they won seven consecutive French titles. However, around 14 years later, Bordeaux found themselves defunct and relegated to the third division of French football. So how can a club who had one of the biggest icons in Zinedine Zidane play for them, even reaching a European final in the 1996 season, find themselves fighting for the right to even exist? Well, before we get into all that, I want to take us back to see just how important this club really is to French and international football as a whole. Opening their doors in 1881, Bordeaux didn't actually start off as a football club. In fact, they wouldn't even play football until the year 1910. However, they would only do trials and not actually play in games. It would take another decade before the club would actually take football seriously, playing their first official match in 1920. But once again, it would take yet another 16 years before Bordeaux would turn professional. Following a merger with another club in the city, the French Football Association would insert Bordeaux into the second division. And it would only take four years before Bordeaux were finally able to put their stamp on France by winning the domestic cup in the 1940 season. And they would actually win the cup while being in the second division. After World War II ended and France was, well, France again, it would only take one season for Bordeaux to promote. And in their first season in the top flight, they would make history, winning the French first division title in the 1949 season. And after that, Bordeaux would stay in contention, placing in the top half of the table while also reaching some French Cup finals. However, no trophies would come out of it. In fact, they wouldn't really return to glory until the 1980s, when a man named Cloud Bez would become chairman of the club, he would inject several million pounds into the squad with the goal of making Bordeaux the first French side to ever win European silverware. Although he came short of that goal, he would turn Bordeaux into a force to be reckoned with. Winning three top flight league titles in another two French domestic cups, Bordeaux would even reach the European Cup semis, now known as the Champions League. They would end their golden decade finishing with a runners-up medal in back-to-back -back seasons. With many excited for the future of the club heading into the 1990s, Bordeaux would take a different path, and due to administrative and financial problems would be relegated into the second division. Although they would come right back up, it would be a sign of things to come, as the cracks would be seen in the foundation. However, they would make some excellent moves and bring in three very important players which would elevate the club, with one of these names being footballing icon Zinedine Zidane. These new players would shine, with Zidane quickly becoming one of the best players in Ligue 1, he would even lead Bordeaux to the 1996 UEFA Cup Final, facing off against Bayern Munich. Although they had gotten battered with a final score of over two legs being 5-1, it was a big accomplishment for the side. And three years later, they would end the decade with another league one title. The 2000s would bring more of the same for Bordeaux, picking up a few more domestic cups here and there, while also challenging for the top spots in the league. They would snap Lyon's dominance and win their sixth and last league one title to date. See, the 2010s were going to be more difficult for Bordeaux, just like any other French club. With PSG being funded by oil money, many clubs wouldn't be faulted for not winning silverware. And Bordeaux would become stagnant, placing 6th in the 2018 season. It was clear that a change was needed if they wanted to challenge. And here came a promise. See, M6 was a TV station in France who had bankrolled Bordeaux for years, until they decided they wanted to sell their investment to American buyers. A man named Joseph de Grossa would offer 70 million euros to acquire the team and M6 would accept the offer. However, luck wouldn't go his way, as just two years later into his project, a very big, uh, let's just call it a bacteria, would come out, bringing the world to a halt. This would cause Bordeaux and every other football club in the world to lose massive revenue streams, including their media rights owner, MediaPro, who went bankrupt and missed many payments. The club would be put into administration, and to put the cherry on the top, the American owners would come out and state that they wouldn't financially fund the club anymore either. Bordeaux was in a very rough spot. As a new businessman would come into the town and give many promises of success, Bordeaux was once again sold. However, the new owners wouldn't really change much, as Bordeaux's decline would start here. Placing dead last in the 2022 season, they would find themselves relegated to the second division for the first time since 1991. Finding themselves in administration again, the French footballing body would make a decision to send them to the third division. However, Bordeaux would make an appeal and win, as they would call the ruling harsh, and luckily they would win the case, giving them a chance to fight in the second division. 
and they would place 12th, giving the fanbase hope that maybe there was a chance that they could somehow return to former glory. But the gig was up. The France Footballing Association would start another case on Bordeaux, and although they would appeal the decision, a couple of days later they would retract the appeal, as they knew it was over. Being relegated to the third division, they had no money, and they couldn't keep the facade any longer. So on July 25th, 2024, they made a decision that would send shockwaves throughout the footballing community, as they would give up their licenses to be a professional club, and closing down their training grounds, along with terminating all youth and first team contracts. With the club making a statement saying they hope to return to League 1 one day, and under better finances and a new ambition, Bordeaux is a cautionary tale being used by billion dollar companies and rich investors as a play toy. Once they had gotten bored with the club, they had left it in terrible shape, and my heart goes out to all the fans of the club who have to witness this. They are set to play in the third division, however, but with no players signed to contracts, I'm sure the quality of the team will go down. One day, you are owned by rich owners who give you the best players, letting you become champions, and the next day, you find yourself torn and working to get to the top. I hope that Bordeaux gets back to Ligue 1 because of their big fan base and grand history, as only 6 clubs can say they have more Ligue 1 titles than them. But will they come back? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this.